This is the presentation of OPC Systems OPC WPF pie chart for WPF 4.0. The pie chart is part of a series of controls designed for dashboard application. The OPC WPF pie chart can be used to create applications quickly and easily incorporate live data into your WPF dashboard application. The controls are intended for use with the .NET 4.0 framework. The pie chart allows for single side-by-side -side view of multiple live data points in a pie chart style to easily determine the percent of the total for each value. Each arc can have its own gain and offset and there are multiple properties that can be controlled by live data from the OPC system service such as title, arc color, flashing, and others. Let's create a new application with Microsoft Visual Studio and use our WPF pie chart. Let's open up Microsoft Visual Studio and create a new project. We'll select the WPF application and give it a name of pie chart and select OK. And in our main window, we will now go to our toolbox and select our OPC WPF pie chart. Double click and now we have a pie chart in our window. Notice that the pie chart is currently blank. That's because we have no arcs added to the pie chart at this point. All we have is our pie chart label and let's select arcs from the common property and let's add several arcs to our pie chart. We'll add three. Select the first arc and change the title to ramp and then let's select the common properties of OPC systems. Notice we have an enable tag, a tag tag, and a title tag. This will allow us to change the title of the arc based upon an OPC systems tag and a value tag. Let's select our ramp value from the value tag. Select the ellipse at the right. Select local from our browser and select the ramp value. Select OK. Notice also we have value gain and value offset that can be set here. Under brushes, we can see that our arc is currently filled with red. It has a foreground of black and a stroke of black. We'll leave these set as they are for the first arc. Select our second arc and let's change the fill color to green and select a value tag. And here let's select our sign to value, select OK, and scroll up to the title and change that to sign. Now let's change our third arc and let's put random for the title. Scroll down to brush fill and let's change this to blue. And for our value tag, let's select our random value and press OK. You can now see that we have the three different arcs displayed on our pie chart with a ramp sign and random titles. Let's take a look at a couple of the other properties that are available under each one of the arcs. Under Appearance OPC Systems, we can affect the opacity of each arc, the visibility of each arc, Enabled, and its tag, its title tag, and its value tag. So let's copy the value tag here and place it in the title tag. And under title format float, let's change this to ramp and give it a decimal place of one. Under brushes OPC systems, we can see that we can have an arc flash tag that will flash the arc on a tag value. We can also have the arc fill and that will affect the fill color of each of the arcs based on OPC systems tags. Further down, we have a text value and we also have visibility. And under visibility, we can affect the thickness of the arc. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to change this to 50%. And we can see now that our arc is not completely filled. We also have a stroke thickness and visibility. Let's change each of our arc controls arc thickness to 50% and select OK. Now let's run our application. Now we can see that we're updating and our first title is ramp and we can see the value displayed next to it. We can also hover over any of the arcs and see the percent of total and also its current value. You can also see that the arc is animated when we hover over it. Let's take a look at a few of the properties within the OPC pie chart itself. We've already looked at arcs. This is our collection of various arcs that we're going to animate. Under appearance, we can affect the opacity of the entire pie chart and also the visibility of the pie chart. We can also flash the background of the pie chart to various colors based off an OPC systems tag and we can also change the background color of the pie chart based on an OPC systems tag. We also have a border brush flash 
and border brush color. Under common properties of OPC systems, we have an enable, a tag, and a tooltip tag. In layout of OPC systems, we can affect the height and the width, and under the title properties, OPC systems, we can change the title of the pie chart, and let's change this to my pie chart, and we can see that updated there. And we can also have a title tag. So if we were to select the ramp value tag, then the ramp value would be the title of the chart. Or we can also show a timestamp by entering a tag here and selecting the timestamp here. So let's use our ramp value and select title show timestamp. You can also have transforms created by OPC systems. So you can rotate, scale, skew, and affect the translation location of the chart. This will effectively move the chart in the X and Y axis on our window. Under visibility, we can affect the corner radius, the opacity, and the visibility. So if we have a border selected for our chart, our corner radius is now 10. So let's add a background brush and let's change that background brush to gray and add a border brush and we'll set that to black. Now you can see we have a border around our pie chart and let's scroll down and change the corner radius to 20. And you can see now that we have a corner radius, nice rounded edges on our pie chart. Let's run our application once again. Now you can see we have the timestamp showing up as our title. Our ramp is also showing the value. And then we can still hover over and get the values directly from each one of the slices. For more information on OPC Systems products and features, please visit our website at www.opcsystems.com. And for more training videos, please select the training tab at the top of the page.